Hello friends, welcome to Mo Joomla channel. Today we are going to go through the CrossFit mobile application project setup and connection with Firebase. Uh, to remind you, the CrossFit is a Flutter application, so you will have the Android Studio installed in your computer before. Also, you need to sign up with Google's Firebase uh, system, so you need to have active login over there, and the billing setup should be there as well. So both things should be there. So now let's just check. So th there will be six or seven steps that we will be going through uh, to set up the project. Uh, let me just uh, show you what are the three uh, basic steps that we are going to do. So as you can see on the screen, we are going to set up Firebase. So create Firebase project, then connect the application. And also you will enable the sign in and all those things uh, while you are in the Firebase. So those are the basic steps. So let's just go on firebase website click on get started button and it will open up uh, the gmail login for you so use your gmail id to log in into the firebase uh, i'll just remind you this is the same user id that you will do where you have done the billing setup so now we'll create a new project in firebase so click on add project so the here you can give any project name like you might have a you know crossfit gym or you know a, a five star gym and then you can give a project name as five star gym and just to remind you the use the camel case so first letter capital everything else could be a small letters so this could be your unique project name right because when you are releasing application it has to be unique uh, again you know this is google analytics we'll leave it on because we want to capture the analytics now you can select the account i mean drop down will show you the default account for firebase just select it and click on create project so now this will create the project in the firebase system so let's just quickly go through the completion process excellent so now the project is ready let's just click on continue so now we have the project landing page where you know we can do the configuration and everything so we have created a project now we'll go to step two connect your app to firebase so now uh, just go to your downloaded files that you have downloaded from Envato. Uh, those files will open up uh, in android studio now and then we will do the uh, connection uh, with the firebase so okay. let's register the app first so as we talked about the five star app so if you go to android studio so, uh, navigate to app src and then android manifest.xml file this is the packet name which we are uh, replacing so this will be a unique five star gym dot fitness kind of packet name you can uh, right now we'll just go with crossfit but you can give your own name uh, and this would be the name that you have on firebase as well as on your code app nickname you can give anything so let's just click the button and then right so now it has created the json file which we will download so click on the download button to and this file need to be copy pasted to your android project under the app folder so for now just download it go to the downloadable folder and then copy this json file google-service.json so navigate to app folder just paste the file over here it will show you the pop-up and just click on save so now you have the file that has been created by google firebase paste it everything else just leave it as it is and continue so now we have almost completed the connection part so let's go to uh, set up the animal sign in method so we have in crossfit uh, email password then your mobile number and password then google login then facebook login apple login these are five different ways you can log in into the crossfit so we'll set up all these authentication and uh, login system within uh, google firebase so just go to the build part within authentication and then click on start button so these are the sign in methods available uh, in firebase so we'll go one by one so email password then phone then Google, then Facebook, and then Apple. So these are the five uh, sign-in methods that we will set up. So let's just go with the email. So enable the email method. Yeah. Then once that's done, 
you can click on add new provider now we will set up the phone uh, a login system so your mobile number and OTP kind of uh, credential setup that will do so it's very simple way of doing it so you just have to enable it so we have done email and phone now we'll go and set up the Google and Facebook Apple so click again click on add new provider the Google icon enable it uh, don't worry about uh, the not configured I mean you know you will in the drop down you will always see it now we are just going to save it so there we are setting up the Google uh, Gmail login uh, for the CrossFit Done. so let's again click on add new provider for the Facebook login so we we'll locate the Facebook in the list so let's just enable it then let's go to Apple so in Facebook you might have seen those two fields we can leave it as it is Apple let's enable it as well okay so that's done now we are going to move to step 4 change your fire data firebase database so we'll paste this database rules into firebase configuration so let's go to build authentication and then firebase database setup so we'll first create the database this is the database where all the data will store from the crossfit so we'll first create the database and then apply the rules so you can use the taste mode but for now we are just going to go with the production mode here you have the server location so database location we have selected united states but you can change it to your country's location remember wherever you select the database server location it will be the same that will be applied to your digital assets as well later on so make sure you select uh, the location that is near to your country for faster performance okay so now let's check. we created a database now we'll just go and apply the database rules so as you have seen uh, from the documentation just copy and paste it over here and publish this uh, rules so that you know our database has the instruction to read and write and all those things so it can connect from uh, our project to database and then you know it can enter data seamlessly so here we have applied those rules now we are going to do the storage digital assets same thing that we have done with the database we will create a storage first and then apply the storage rules so all the files like you know your gym members profile photographs or any reports or anything like that that can be uploaded and downloaded from this uh, storage so this is kind of your digital assets so similar to database we'll just uh, you know create a storage so click on get started start in production mode again you know you can see the cloud storage location that you are also selected in database it's the same location that appears over here uh, just click on done button so that you know your storage is created and once the storage is created you would ideally set up the rules so you know copy paste the rules from the documentation file that has been provided to you so once that rules are pasted uh, the project has the clear instruction that you know your files when you upload it from the mobile app or from the admin area or from gym member area is always stored on the firebase right and it can be retrieved as well so here you will paste the rules just click on publish so now firebase has the instruction how to handle the data in database as well as the files in file structure now let's go to step 6 which is add your app indices so uh, we'll just give you some instruction on the firebase uh, database about the fields that uh, has all the data gonna be stored in that so those who are familiar with MySQL over there it's called uh, tables over here it's called collections so we'll go to cloud firestore database and indices so when you click on that 
so here you will have to give your own collection id so the payment history i mean over here i think you can from the documentation these are the table names that you have to give uh, so we can say collection id again and then you know there are fields a user id created at so those are the two fields that we'll be adding over here so there are a number of collections that we have to do this exercise but as part of this video we'll just do two or three uh, collections and fields so on query score select collection and then create indices so it creates the index uh, I think we have left a space over here, so we'll just remove the space. Yeah, and then we'll create index. So it's now building in, in a building mode, like the status as you can see. Now we'll add another index. So click on add index again. Then the next collection ID is table workout category. We'll be adding two field created by and title. So in collection ID, we'll say table workout category. In fields, we'll say created by and title. By default, it comes in ascending mode, which is okay, but you have to see it in the document. That if it is ascending, then we have to specifically say ascending. So those two fields we just added now. Select collection radio button. Click on create index button and it's created. So it's building. I'll just add the third collection which is users so we'll be adding two field user role and full name so these are different collections that we have to enter we'll just show you three over here but you will have to add all other collection yourself it's little time consuming but we have to do it so user role and full name are the two fields that will be adding over here. Make sure you don't have any space at the start or at the end of the string. So yeah, it's just saying staying with the ascending mode. Click on collection radio and then click on create index button. So this will build uh, the collection for you. Right now the city is building, but after few minutes it will complete the process of building it so it will show you enable kind of thing as you can see on the screen so all this there are a number of collections that you have to enter and all of them should be enabled once you are done adding up all the collection ids next step step seven is add uh, sha1 or sha256 key in firebase these keys are added uh, so that your project as a specific instruction to connect with the firebase project so you know any other application won't connect to your firebase project so this is the step that we have to follow so you are on command prompt you will give some instructions like change directory so once you are in the right directory you have to run the command gradle w signing report as you can see on the screen this is the command once you fire it creates uh, credentials that is use the credential in terms of key security keys uh, in terms of SHA1 and SHA256. These keys will have specific instruction to connect with your Firebase app and the project and app connection can be done securely with these two keys. So we'll be copying these two keys in the Firebase projects. So let it complete the generation part first. So as you as I violated SHA two fifty six key. So one by one we will copy both key SHA one and SHA two fifty six in the Firebase project. So we'll go to project settings, and once you land there, you will able to find uh, the security keys, uh, certificate fingerprint. So once you copy the SHA1, so it shows you new certificate created. Now we have to copy the SHA256 key. So these are the encryption. So 256 with encryptions that we are actually adding into 
the Google Firebase project. So I have click on add fingerprint or paste the SHA256. So we have added both the keys in the Firebase project. Save it and now we are ready to deploy the Firebase function. So again go to Google Cloud Console. These we are doing for so that you can have the membership expired reminders, right? Whenever the membership is expired or is about to expire, there are specific reminders that goes to members' email or their phone number. To set up that, this is the exercise we are doing. So uh, pay attention. I think this is a little uh, complex as well. So if you go to Google Cloud Console, click on uh, I am and admin. So your instance in Google Cloud. So once you click on that, uh, I am an admin, you will have different options. So in that you will go to service accounts. Here you will create a new account. As you can see, so plus create a service account button that you will be pressing at the top. Here you will give again your 5 star gym or whatever account name you want to give. That will be a service account ID that you have to provide and the email address uh, that has been created. So let's just add the account name. This will give you some idea about uh, what account is used for what kind of services. So, you know, relevant name is always encouraged. Then there is a policy that uh, we have to, if you want, you can define that or else just uh, go with what is defined by the Google. So now we have the account created, service account created. So from three dot menu, I will go to and click on manage keys. So again, over here, we will be adding keys for the secure transactions between uh, Google Pro uh, Firebase project and Firebase applications. So this will again create a new JSON file that we have to download it and then insert in our project. So now we have downloaded the generated and downloaded the Google JSON file. So we locate that file under the download folder. So this file needs to be renamed and then copy pasted into the project. Uh, right now we are not going to an npm install process but you if you want you have to do it as well so the file name that we have to do is google service key so we'll just rename it to google service key once we have done the renaming the file then we are ready to copy and paste it to our project under the function folder in our project so go to android studio project Go to the path, crossfit firebase function, then function folder, and then paste the file over here. Yeah, so we have included this file so that now we can have the reminder. So here is the setup process. Uh, it was a little lengthy, but I hope this will help you set up the crossfit project and connect with firebase. If any uh, questions or if you have any doubts you can always put it in the comment section also subscribe to our channel to receive this kind of video guide uh, you obviously have the document file in html format but you can also refer to this video guide for faster setup of crossfit project i hope you like the video thank you thanks for listening